This patient is fading fast. Is he breathing at all spontaneously? No. He does have Sir? this one spirally. Okay, okay good. Own. All right, so um, Chuck, let's go ahead and get ready to intubate. And these doctors have to figure out what to do about it. And uh, we've got a pulse of 123, it's hypoxic to 94%. And again, we got to think trauma here, right? Do we have pulses on him? What do we have? What do you see, Chuck? This is just one of the simulation rooms at UC San Diego's new medical training center, located on the main campus in La Jolla. It's the new home for more than 600 medical students, residents, and fellows. The building has classrooms, meeting rooms, and the largest lecture hall at UC San Diego. Like every other room in this new building, this auditorium is hooked up to a wireless video network. Here, students can see surgeries or lecturers beamed in from anywhere in the world. But it's the building's center for the future of surgery that's the real eye-opener. It's filled with operating rooms that are better equipped than those found in many hospitals. And it's here where aspiring surgeons, and even those already in practice, can hone their skills. In a facility like the Center for the Future of Surgery and the Simulation Training Center, we can duplicate scenarios and, and simulate things before we go into the operating room. And we can teach the residents, faculty from other institutions, surgeons who want to learn new techniques to practice them here before they go into the operating room. In one of the center's operating theaters, a surgical fellow gets her first crack at using a robotic surgery machine. And the goal is for you to not touch the loop on any of the edges of the uh, wire. While the doctor manipulates the robotic arms with her hands, she looks at a monitor that provides a 3D image of the operating site. In yet another operating suite, a surgeon in training practices suturing on an arthroscopic trainer. I feel so incredibly lucky to have access to this lab. The technology we have here and you have to get, for me as a surgeon, I see this, this is like a playground. These are toys. I can, I can use all this equipment at any time, uh, increase my ability, uh, impress my attendings and ultimately become a better surgeon for it. Some of the training devices provide an amazing substitute for the human body. This one, for example, gives students an idea of what it's like to see the inside of a woman's uterus. School officials agree that all of the technology is impressive, but they say the ultimate goal of the new center is to help doctors master both the art and the science of medicine. And so this building is designed for both of those, to, to be able to teach how to really understand what's going on with patients and then to do what needs to be done well.